gonna, I'm a saint I'm gonna live it on a shame All of my days are for Jesus All of my words gonna see this I'm not broken, I am saved All my sins are washed away I got a brand new identity I died to myself and he lives in me Lives in me ha! Good morning, Kata I hope you had a great week um, I did, it was really awesome Just a little bit cold, but it was good I just want to share with you this week we're going to be talking about something that is really close to my heart. I hope you have a good time. But before we begin, let us just pray. Father, we just want to thank you, Lord Jesus, Martin, for your love, your mercy, and your joy, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your peace. Father, you are so good to us, Lord God. And, um, you created us in your image, in, in your likeness, Lord God, to be like you, to rule, to have authority like you do, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for your peace. And how are wow, we? You are so, so, so good. You are a good God, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, that we can call you Father, God, that we can call you Father. And Jesus, we thank you that you died for our sins. Thank you that you stood in the gap and, and made sure that we have the way to get to the Father. We thank you, Lord, and we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, before we go far, let us just worship. I think this is going to be an awesome song. Enjoy it. Let's go deep.
song it is so on point and it's so 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 true about who God is he's a good good father and while we in this song the topic is the father heart you know and and you know you need to know who God is and and his view about you and we're gonna kick it off by Acts 17 verse 27 and this is what God said God has done all of this so that you can look for him and reach out to find him. He isn't too far from any of us. And he gives the power. He gives us the power to love. To move and to be who we are. We are his children. Just as some of the poets said. So why am I studying like this today? I want to just tell you about how loved you are. And, and I think... You know what, people, you might have had a lot of people coming to you, God loves you, God loves you, and, and it became just the thing that people are saying. But I want to tell you this, God really, really cares for you and He loves you. We're going to look at, let's look at David's life. I mean, David, if everybody knows about King David, and it doesn't matter what you believe in God or you don't believe in God, we all know about David. And, and we know the victories that he had. But let's look at David a little bit back when he was just a boy, before he was selected to be a king, before he was anointed to be a king. I mean, he was a shepherd and he was out there doing his thing. And his father forgot that he was there. And right there, his identity was kind of like tinted, tinted and then touched on. I think he was a sensitive little boy, you know, um, to the point that he was rejected by his own father. If you look at this whole thing, I mean, um, he was not mentioned. Up until it was asked, do you have any more sons? And he was like, oh, yeah, I have one more. And Jesse doesn't even say, oh, I forgot David. No, he just says, yes, I do have the young one. You know, it's just like, yeah, it's um, I, I, we, don't, we don't think that he will have much, but he's, he's here. And he comes through and he becomes anointed to be king. So all I'm saying is this, the world might look at your identity and say that you're not worth it. God looks at you and he sees the next king. You are our future, you are our hope. You are not just a rugby player, you are not just a netball player, you are not just a... You, your identity is not on what you do and what you don't do. We look at David and in Psalm 139, he writes such an amazing, amazing, amazing scripture right there. And he says, um, before I do anything, you know about me, you know my thoughts, you know my lying down, you know everything. You have me in your mind and I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And he says all this beautiful stuff. I want you to go deep into this scripture because the thing is this. I can tell it to you, but the minute when you read it for yourself, it hits home and it touches more than just what people are saying or hear say or what somebody else is saying. It becomes something personal for you because your identity is formed and is, is given by God, you're not going to work for it. It is your right. Okay? Some of you might be thinking, oh, that's cool. Let's talk about Jesus. Look at this. Jesus was born. Jesus needed to get baptized. And, and John was telling the story about him and he's coming and he himself is not worth of tying his shoes but the minute when Jesus was there he had to go through the whole thing like everybody else as he's getting baptized as he comes out the light shines on him a dove sits on him and a voice comes out of the sky and he says this is my son 
whom I'm pleased with. Why? Why will God not call him a, a warrior? Why will not God call, God call him a king? But he calls him a son because he wants us to understand that he is our father. That God, he is our father and he's well pleased with us. Jesus continues and he keeps on telling it over and over and over and over. He introduces God as a father to us over and over. Even when he teaches us how to pray, he says, our father. And the minute when you understand that God is your father, the way you pray changes. The way you speak changes. How you treat other people changes. Everything about you changes because of you realize who you are. Your identity is being boasted to be... It's not even boasted. Your identity is being restored because you realize who you are. You are a royal priesthood. Chosen nation. I mean, you are God workmanship. He calls you his offspring. He calls you his son. Your identity, it's in him. Not what you do. Not what you did. The devil knows your name. But he refers to you by your son. Because he wants to trip your identity. We know the story about Jesus when the devil came to tempt him. And he was not trying to see if he can do what he says. He was trying to see if Jesus can drop the ball about who he is. He had nothing to prove because he knew who he was. Do you know who you are? So now we know. Doesn't matter what happens in your life. This is how you overcome it. By knowing who you are and knowing how God feels about you and how he sees you. It's important. So these are the scriptures that I think you should go through them, read them, and here they are. Handelinge 17 vers 28 Want dier hom lewe ons, beweeg ons, en bestaan ons. Of soos partij van jylle dichters ook gesê het, ons stam ook van hom af. Jeremia 32 vers 40 Ek sal een blijvende verbond met hulle sluit. Ek sal nooit ophou om aan hulle goed te doen nie. En ek sal in hulle die begeer te le om my te dien en nie van my al weg te draai nie. Jeremia 31 vers 3 Van ver af hier die Heere om aan Israel bekend gemaak. Ek het jou nog altyd lief gehad. Daarom het ek jou met geduld verdra. Jeremia 1 vers 4 en 5 Die woord van die Heere het tot my gekom. Voordat ek jou in die moederskoot gevorm het, het ek jou geken. Voordat jy gebore is, het ek jou aan my gewaai en jou as profeet vir die nazies aangestel. And I would like to just have Christine share with us just a little bit about how things changed for her when she began to realize who God is to and how God sees her. Enjoy! Ek het vir so lang die leens van die wereld gegloe en elke leen wat die vijand probeer verkoop het en elke gedachte wat opgekom het net gevat sonder om twee keer daan te denk. Dit het vir my laat geloe dat my waarde in mens le, dat ek sekere goed moet doen om aan voor te doen. Dis ek nie op een sekere manier presteer nie, dat ek mense om my net leer gaan stel. En dit was die grootste leen wat ek ooit kon geloe. Van die dag toe ek besef het dat God nie net daar is nie, dat hy my pa is en hy my so onverwoordelik lief het, is dit asof al die goed net weggevee is. Ek het begin besef dat my waarde in God is, dat, dat ek is wie Christus sê ek is, dat my identiteit in hom le, en dat het my hele leven verander. Um, ek weet nou, ek kan nog goed luister en sy stem hoor, sonder om te twyfel te hoor, sonder om te denk dat ek nie goed genoeg is om sy stem te hoor, of om sy werk te doen nie, want ek weet dat sy hart, vir my so mooi is, en dat hy die groter prentjie vir my gaan openbaar, en ek het klaar deel van die prentjie gesien, en het maak my so opgewonde vir waar jy nak op pad is, en ek weet, ek sou nie die prentjie gesien het, as ek nie besef het wie hy is nie, en ek nie nom geluister het nie, as ek nie whole hearted lie die ongoing relationship met hom pursue het nie, dat alles wat hy vir my nog in store het, soveel groter is, as die dinge waarvoor ek nie gesê het, 
en soveel mooier is as die dinge wat ek gedink het ek het. So you see, your life will change if you realize that. The more you, like I think last week I mentioned, um, we talked about uh, Jesus being the way and the more you in this way with Jesus, the more you understand, you see him, you know him better and the more you begin to have a relationship with the Father and the minute when you have a relationship with the Father, everything changes. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we, we are your children, that we'll realize that you have called us by our name, Lord. While the devil keeps on reminding us of what we did wrong, Father God, that you remind us who we are. When he calls us by, by our sin and our mistakes, you called us by our name, Lord. Father, your, your promises that our name has been written. We belong to your family. And Father, you are such a good, good Father. I'm no longer a slave. I'm no longer a slave to a false identity. I do not have to work to prove who I am. I am because you've made me what I am. We thank you, Lord. And I pray that your head is with us. That you will just keep us close to you, Lord. We love you. And thank you for loving us first. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears have the cold.
know 